back. Um, so this is about some people may question about affirmation. Affirmation exists prior to love attraction. And it's not like if you repeat it a hundred times and it will become real. Affirmation has a lot to do with your imagination. Um, how to say? So, um, when you do an affirmation, it's not in love when you repeat it, but you have to imagine it is true. And it's not out, I will illustrate in a moment. So let's say you imagine you're really happy. You can train your mind to feel happy because you imagine yourself to be happy. Because what is imagined when you see um do their do their MRI, I think that was it called to see uh, which area of your brain is active. Is actually the same as it was real, like the 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 area of uh brain that was active when you're imagining and when you experience is actually the same. Okay, but that was the way to help you to feel happy or to feel confident. But it itself, if you say your affirmation is to be a millionaire, you don't just repeat it. And it will become true. What will help you that affirmation may be better is to imagine yourself going through the mind of a millionaire. What kind of habit, what kind of, how would a millionaire start that day? How would he feel? How would he act or react to the situation? So it's all an imagination process to put in the shoes of whoever you adore and want to become and see how he deal with things and model after it kind of like what would jesus do all right you model after the person so what you when you begin to imagine how you will live your life as if you are the person who is having this business you start to think about what the same problem they would be facing how they would deal with those kind of problem you begin to see what kind of habit they would be need to develop in order to do that so you start thinking in a way you start trying to live and think in the same way as the person who's already successful and that's what actually helped you to become that person it's not really how you declare it hundred time if you don't use your imagination if you don't believe in what you are saying in your affirmation it won't happen because because you your mind does not believe in it so the thing to trick your mind is to put yourself in the mindset of the person that you want to model after imagine what it's like to have a day in their life imagine you're happy and you will feel happy but it's all about imagination kind of like how there was a study how um some people i was an old study i think um you imagine you're shooting practicing basketball versus you practice basketball um they actually uh Actually, it worked. The imagination worked. Um, but anyway, the whole point is, if you just repeating the affirmation without using your imagination, without believing in it, and without action, it won't work. Affirmation work best is when you actually imagine you're happy or you imagine your... Um, in a situation of your model what it is and then you imagine yourself able to do what your model is doing and then with habit building and smart goal you accomplish something to work what you try to model after you actually um got to taste success
Because if you don't set small goal that you can reach, and if you don't take action to actually produce something, it will just be a game you play in your head. You can feel happy, but you really produce nothing. You can feel confident without producing anything. But when you have small success, when you have small habit that you build, you can actually build up the self rewarding um feeling that you accomplish something. You're working toward your goal. It become more believable. The more micro step you take, the micro goal you reach. The stronger you believe in yourself, you can become that person. And there might be time where you don't hit your goal, but the thing is not to, um, how does it, not to reprimand yourself for not reaching the goal, but figure out why it's not working and then fix it next time. It's like treat failure. As a way of preventing you to fail next time. So this is mindset. So lots of affirmation is helps you to build a good mindset. It's p- going to help you to use your imagination to become the person you want to be. But you don't put it out there, repeat it a thousand times, and it become reality. No such thing like that. <laughs> you can try, like especially if you don't believe in the affirmation you're creating yourself. You can try, like, hundred thousand times. If you don't take action, just like, you know, you put a glass of water、uh, on the table and you imagine you're drinking it. See how many minutes if you don't pick up the glass, whether the water will be in your mouth. I mean, you can feel that. Um, savory or whatever, because you imagine it. But the result is the water is still there. You haven't actually go ahead and grab it. You have to take action. But imagination can open up your mind to possibility to to be able to conceptualize that you're able to do it. Imagination affirmation is able to help you. To imagine yourself in the person you so much tomorrow after, what kind of behavior, what kind of habit that person would have,、uh, what kind of thing, how he react to thing, how he make decision. So it's all start from imagination to imagine how you can become the person that you want to be, how that person may face certain problem and how they resolve it. It's that here, it's that in here, but by no means <laughs> it work like magic, as LA would say. That's no magic pill. Yes, our imagination is the greatest thing we have, but still, like I say, if you put a glass of water on the table and you imagine yourself drinking it, after sixty minute, if you don't take up the glass and drink it, you still haven't drink your water. Your body is still being dehydrated. Okay, hope that be helpful. Bye now.